Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Paralas SMS Biology Topics channel. In this channel we are going to learn the topics of biology for 7th, 8th and 9th classes. Today's topic is seed germination and dispersal of seeds. Okay, what is the germination? The process by which a seed develops into a young plant is known as seed germination. Okay, now we are going to see the parts. This is this is the seed and this is the radical. This is the seed coat. And this is the cotyledon. And this is the fumule. And this is the young plant. This is the seed. Seed. In this, this is the seed coat. Uh, this seed coat is the outer covering of seed. We will see the meanings. One by one, we will see the meanings. Okay. First one is seed coat. What is the seed coat? The outer. Covering of seed. Okay, seed coat is the outer covering of seed. Next one is our cotyledon. They look like a leaf like a leaf but they have in the growth of plant okay the cotyledon they look like leaf they look like a leaf in a seed but they help in the growth of plant as the cotyledon is based on two types the, the cotyledon is based on the seed. If a seed have one cotyledon, it is known as monocot. And the seed has two cotyledons, it is known as dicot. We will see the diagram. This is the monocot and dicot. See here only this one leaf is present. So this is monocot. Here one, two. Two leaves are present. So this is known as dicot. Okay. Next one is radical. What is radical? The first comes out from the seed and grows into root. The radical it first comes out from the seed. The radical will come first out from the seed and it grows into root. And the same way the pumule comes second from the seed and develops into the end plant. Okay? Is it clear now? Okay. Uh, now we will see about the dispersal. What? Dispersal of seed.
dispersal of seeds are of four types. What are the four types? The first one is by wind. Dispersal by wind. Second one is dispersal by water. And third one is dispersal by animals. And fourth one is dispersal by explosion. Okay. Dispersal by dispersal by wind, water, animals, and explosion. First, we are going to see about the wind. Wind. Oh, first wind is we are going to see about the wind. Do you know the uh, the dandelion? The dandelion uh, has it will be like this. First, the dandelion is like this. Up of this, some seeds are present. When we take this and uh, uh, blow air out, the, the seeds go into the atmosphere. And the same way, when the wind is blowing, the dandelions will uh, explode. The dandelions will move into the atmosphere and develop into new plants, the up seeds. Examples for the wind, this, the dandelions and milkweed. Dandelion and milkweed. The dandelion seeds will be some small. The milkweed will be big. Like this. Here the seed is present. Uh, here the seed is present. So the seed cannot cannot fly because it has some weight. But and uh, the this uh, these are lightweight these these are uh, attached to the seed and uh, it helps in the movement helps in the movement of movement by wind so this is so oh yo, important for the seed to disperse okay the wind is clear to you now we are going to see by water dispersal by water you know some ponds not ponds uh, moving a river we will think about some river here the water flows right water flows rapidly here some plants will be able to grow something they produce seeds they tilt towards the water. Some some plants will tilt towards water. Tilt towards water. When the water comes in the very force. Very force. The water comes. Up on, up of this plant. The seeds are present. Now, this water takes the seeds away. And move to the further place. There the new plant will be developed. Okay. Near a river. A plant is there. In this plant produces seeds. This seeds, this plant is tilted towards the earth. This water flows towards, flows. These seeds take these seeds and go away for further places. There the new plant will be developed. Okay. Now by animals. Uh, for water examples will be. As by water we will see. Now by water. Examples will be coconut. Of course you will think the coconut is not present near the river. But the coconut fall down from the tree. And flows towards the river. And goes to the new further place. There it develops. Okay. Now animals. And you know that animals have full air covered with fur, their hands and uh, legs. They, when they move, example for a tiger, 
this seed will be like this claw this seed is known as tiger tiger's claw this seed is known as tiger's claw yes right when the tiger keep his keep his foot down moving it attaches to the fur to the fur of his hand and it when it moves when the tiger moves uh, it uh, goes down it comes down in some place in some further place from where it has been and to the, and there it develops uh, for, like this some uh, like it has some pores on it uh, just a small seed has some pores attaches to the fur like different animals when it keep his foot in a in a light force in a uh, in a heavy force the seeds will fall down okay now the explosion by explosion you know the pea pea plant uh, it looks like this something this pea plant in this the peas develop uh, into bigger 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 in size after some some days after some days the pea pod has blast blast into two and this seed comes out and uh, we, when the pea pod is uh, blasted pea pod is blasted it it has some force right in this for, for this because of force they go into the further places further places and develops there okay okay is it clear to you today's session the dispersal seed germination and dispersal of seeds okay it's clear okay uh, today's session is completed please like share and subscribe our channel sms biology classes but today's question is what is the what is the first part comes out from the plant yes okay bye